Hey Siri. Yes, Couch? What's the difference between all Transformer movies? There is no difference. All Transformer movies are all the same. Reason number one. I'm shocked that none of these movies received an Oscar nom for Best Picture because all Transformer movies are directed by the one, the only, Michael Bay. Reason number two. I'm positive Michael Bay isn't trying to be racist on purpose. You could argue he's the opposite of racist for hiring such a diverse cast, but sometimes being the opposite of racist is worse than being racist itself. Reason number three. All Transformer movies hired somebody that went on to hate Michael Bay in real life. Shia dissed him in interviews, and some speculate that's why he wasn't in part four. And TJ dissed him too, and some speculate that's why he died in part four. Reason number four. All Transformer movies always start off with historic events. Transformers were the first to explore the Arctic Circle. It was the Transformers idea to build the pyramids. Transformers were the first to land on the moon. And Transformers killed the dinosaurs. Reason number five. All Transformer movies have dumb parents that wait until their kids are 17 or older to talk about the birds and the bees. Reason number six. All Transformer movies recycle footage. This one doesn't count, but it almost looks like the same exact scene in parts one and two. In part two, those are the same exact shots from part one with extra CGI added. Some of the Air Force montage in Revenge of the Fallen is reused in the news footage in Age of Extinction. The news footage also includes scenes from Transformers 3. Dark of the Moon also has footage recycled from Michael Bay's other movie, The Island. And they show this shot and then one, two, skip a few seconds later, they show the same footage from a lower angle. Reason number seven. All Transformer movies have a kid with financial problems. With Wiki hawks his grandpa stuff because he can't afford a car. Tessa can't afford to go to college without a scholarship. Dead broke Sam has to mooch off his new girlfriend because he can't find a job. And his old girlfriend can't afford an apartment near campus. Because when Sam asks her to move closer to him, this is what she says. You really should come with me. They got cheap apartments near campus. Well, that's not going to happen until I get my man-child father fresh out of prison back on his feet. Reason number eight. All Transformer movies remind you why Decepticons can't stand Optimus Prime because he talks way too much. He tells his entire life story to every human he meets, even though they just met. Snitch. Reason number nine. And speaking of talking too much, all Transformer movies show how insecure Bumblebee is. Robots don't have cocks, so their tongue is their biggest asset. That's what she said. My bad. That didn't come out right. That's what she said again. Whatever. Bumblebee can't trash talk, so he gets extra pissed at the characters who trash talk about him. Reason number 10. You're never supposed to trust the government in any Transformer movie because they're always hiding something. Sector 7 covers up the alien's existence from the world. The government covers up the alien's existence from Sector 7. The president covers up the alien's existence from Russia. And then the CIA covers up the alien creator's existence from the president. Reason number 11. All Transformer movies put the good guys on America's most wanted list. Over here, they all have the right to remain silent by the US government. And here, Mark Sanchez and his friends are wanted dead or alive, and they didn't even do anything. And the Transformers have it just as bad. The government always considers them an enemy when they're just trying to help. Bumblebee gets arrested. The guy who works for the president wants them deported. They actually get deported in part three. And they're hunted down like Bambi's mom in Age of Extinction. We are all targets now. Reason number 13. Despite being superior species, the Transformers always need help to get the job done. The US Army Special Forces, Nest, and the CIA are all in cahoots with the Transformers in all the movies. Reason number 14. Transformers die in all the movies. Movies, but it never matters because all the Transformer movies have a device that could bring dead Transformers back to life. And Optimus Prime always gets to keep the device as a collector's item. Reason number 16. Everybody always points out how Michael Bay sells too many sex in these movies by exploiting women. That's only half not false because he exploits men too. For every upskirt we get from the ladies, we get a PG-13 POV shot of a male camel toe for humans or robots. Reason number 17. All Transformer movies do that thing when the good guys are falling and it looks like they they might die to death, but then a Transformer comes and catches them. Not so fast, Siri. That doesn't happen in Revenge of the Fallen. But that reminds me, why are all the humans more invincible than the Fast and the Furious characters? Sam gets hit by a car and gets up like, <laughs> that tickled. They do the Mission Impossible 4 stunt over here and everybody walks away scratchless. I did this twice in real life and lost two of my kneecaps both times. And nope, still alive. Reason number 18. Why does Optimus get his behind whooped in every movie? Because he's trash. Reason number 19. You 
no, we don't harm humans. The cool thing about Autobots is they never harm humans. Because people don't get harmed in car crashes. Yeah, but Optimus knew they had seatbelts. And because you can't get hurt being thrown 100 feet in the air. They landed on the sand, though. And bullets don't kill people. Second Amendment much? Optimus doesn't give a fuck about humans, couch. When I think about it, you're right. Because Autobots always started fighting in an abandoned warehouse building where they know humans won't get hurt. But then they contradict themselves and take the fight to rush hour traffic where everyone in the carpool lane gets into an accident. Reason number 22. During the final battle scenes, humans always decide to split up to decrease their chances of survival by 78%. Reason number 23. You could always tell the Transformer movies are fake as hell. Not because of CGI or anything, but because it's 100 plus degrees outside and the main characters never catch a heat stroke running around in those hot as hell jackets. Reason number 24. All Transformer movies have a big war at the end and Optimus Prime always gets the last word both figuratively and literally because he's always the last one to narrate the ending of the movie. I am Optimus Prime. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <gasps>